Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this special spiral staircase camera. Actually, you can use this camera in other places as well. But I have especially designed this camera to work on a situation like this. Now, as you can see here, all I have to do is keep W pressed and the character is moving up in the spiral staircase. And as we move along, the level is showcased nicely and it gives a really cinematic feel to the game even though we are still in the gameplay and if I press S the character will climb down the staircase and still uh, the movement is controlled with the system so we don't have to worry about where the character is going and we can enjoy the scene and also once we reach the foot of the staircase the system will switch back to regular third person character camera like this so yeah and if i go here again we get this camera let's see how to do this today and i'm sure you have seen this type of cameras in games like um, god of war or maybe prince of persia or uncharted or especially the games that use fixed camera systems and other real camera based systems. So how this is going to work is like this. This is our camera setup, which is based on the CLM camera blueprint that we have worked on in previous episodes. And this spline defines the path where the camera will be moving along. And as the character is within this range of the camera, the character will also follow this spline and the camera will also follow this spline looking at the camera but a little bit behind and when the character comes back the same thing happens but this time character will, uh, the camera will be in front of the character so that's basically how this system is working and now let's look in detail how to implement this so before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the day so there are over 1700 projects and you can download the project file once you become a member without a limit in the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and also you will get access to my discord server as well and let's get back to today's episode okay so for this scenario as I said, I'm going to use the CLM on rail camera and I'm going to add some additional features into this camera so that we can have this kind of a behavior. So here is the camera. Let me set the initial placement uh, like this. By the way, I created this spiral staircase using the brush editing mode. I use this spiral stair geometry okay now that i have the camera here let me rotate it like this and here i'll enable this can disable mode as well so this is the more uh, disable trigger and this is the enable trigger i'll move the enable trigger to a place like this and the disable trigger somewhere okay uh, now this supply so let me switch to top view so it's easier for me to place the supply here you can see the staircase in the round shape now we can select one of these spine points and keep alt pressed and drag like this until you complete a cycle okay now switch to the one of the side views now you can see this all these points are in a single plane so it's not clear in the side view let me switch to the perspective mode and first move this point up like this and this one until it comes on above the surface of the staircase do the same thing for all the points now in the same way complete the spline for the whole staircase 
right now here I have completed the spiral spline like this so if I now play the game and over here the camera will be activated wait yeah camera is activated but nothing happening so let's see why to select the camera real camera oh let's go here into the blueprint and here we have a length that we follow the character here I have hard coded as thousand hard coded it as thousand so let me promote this to a variable I'll call it father distance so this number defines how far behind we will be following the character along the spline and I'll make this visible so it would be available here for us to modify I'll use a value let's say 300 now if I play I should see some moment in the camera yeah see the camera is far away but camera is not looking at the player so I'll choose this enable this focus on player option now that will also happen see so the next thing is if I press W character is directly moving forward and it will fall down but if I want to move on the spiral staircase I will have to press D A D W and kind of control the character which is uh, not bad but if you want to enjoy the scenery maybe if you can just hold down the W it would be better so now what I'm gonna do is so we already have this use pre-planned movement option enabled but what it does is if I enable that it would simply return the direction of this forward vector this red arrow so that would be used as the direction the character will be moving when I press W so for a real camera that is facing a single direction or maybe for a fixed camera this approach would work but for a spiral staircase this will not work so we will have to do some modifications and now that I think about it it would be better if I have a child class of this on rail camera and do the modifications there so let's create a child class I'll call it serial length by spiral spray camera Let's call it Cloude Rail Camera. Okay, and now I'm gonna have to replace this on rail camera with this curved on rail camera. I can select the curved rail camera and right click replace selected actors with CLM curved rail camera. And this would reset these splines that we have already created, but we will. Oh, I didn't. Nice. I thought it would okay now as I said I'm gonna enable this use pre-planned moment so let me explain how the moment is going to be here when my camera is moving like this now let me eject now here you have this ply and the character is here when the character is here character will when I press W character will be always moving towards a point in front of the character on this spline so let's say something like this so the character will be moving towards that point and the camera will be somewhere like this so this is when we press W if I press S the character will select a point like this and move in this direction so in this way no matter where the character goes the character will be following this spline and obviously if you press A or D the character will be moving in perpendicular directions so that would make the character fall down but that is uh, th that is player's intention also we shouldn't break it or we might add some colliders on the sides okay so now how do we do that 
let's code the blueprint of this curved rail camera and here we have this get forward rotation so this is the function that is used by the character to get the forward direction when we are in a fixed camera mode or fixed to rail camera mode so i'll override that function okay and then if i go to the implementation of this function in the parent it's like this so here feels free plan if this is false i'll call the parent function and then return whatever the parent function gives us if it is true now this is where we have to do a calculation to implement that logic i just explained so in our thing not here in the parent of the rail camera we already calculate the closest position along the spline to the player character in here so if i save this calculation to some variable we can reuse it let me promote this to a variable then at closest point okay this is almost like a sentence let's make it more like a variable i don't know why <laughs> i have to do that okay now if i go back to the curved rail camera and get forward rotation now we have closest length at closest position okay now let's get this and add uh, we already have that follow distance maybe we can use the same thing for the character as well or maybe not let's use a fixed value so basically this will define the position where the character should be moving forward moving toward get that and using this we can get this supply get the location at distance along the spline so since we are adding a value here i think it would be better not to exceed this distance not to exceed the total length of the spline let me get the length and then let me put this part top get uh, minimum of this value or the depth and it should return in world space now this is the point that the player should be targeting so get legend character get turn location Signed pillow cat rotation. Okay. Now this is the direction. Let's test. The system is working. At least for the forward moment. If we had like a sunrise or sunset, that would be cool okay but now when i press s let's see what happens characters volume down okay so for that if we can know if we are pressing s or w how can we know that mm, right if this is the active camera on view on become view target i already have something defined in this event in parent classes so to be safe i'll add the call to the parent class as well and then enable can put yes in this player okay control and on end view target we need to disable inputs because no point keeping that
we can use this enable input and disable input because this is an actor right now when I enable input I would be able to use this maze forward so this will give us more forward or backward input now here if this is greater or equal to zero I will give this I will return this calculation if not that means we are pressing S in that case player should be targeting a point behind the player along the spline so to get that we might do something like this instead of multiplying directly this with 200 let me multiply this first with this value and then 200 so then when this value becomes positive we will get positive 300 here when we are pressing s this value will become negative 1 so here we will get minus 200 so we will get a point along the spline behind the current position of the player current closest position of the player okay now that's not enough because when we press s here when we add the moment inputs this value becomes minus one so if i give a backward facing vector here and if this also becomes negative then again it could become positive and character will be moving in opposite direction so therefore here i'll add another return and do the same thing but target will be player and start will be this blind position okay let's see the system is working for working forward and backward also it is working but I think the camera goes too closer to the character we can resolve it by changing this lerp speed here let me promote no not really yeah we can promote this to a variable I'll call it camera speed and for this curved rail camera I'll set it to something 5 and let's test and backward yeah now we have enough distance from the player okay let's go to the top and finish this episode here okay that's all all right thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll put the updated project files in the patreon page and link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what else you guys would like me to cover in this series and i will try to cover those things in future episodes so see you in the next episode goodbye